Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday and it is vet day. is gonna break and we're gonna be able to get back to riding. We are so excited because it's been a while. First went to the barn today was Miss Gabby. Gabby, where are you? Oh, it stinks in here. Oh, Gabby. Hello, Willow. Container from the puppy is a good container to put the studs, Chino studs in. You gonna put them in? Molly. There's somebody right at my back. Oh, it's because I have a bag of carrots. A bag of carrots. Never turn your back on a po on a pony. Pull that stuff out of her hair. See the gross gross eye gook that got in her hair. <laughs> that is how you wrangle yourself a pony. Come here. Here I got carrots, but I want this. Disgusting. It's the bite. Okay. Oh, girl, it's oh, that day. Yeah. You get the rest after the vet comes. She's a sweet pony, just sometimes she doesn't want to be caught. <laughs> everybody, there's somebody for everybody in the world. Some people like minis better, some people like ponies better, some people like giant horses better. It's all about what you like. And Willow likes me right now. So the reason a lot of people ask why the heck doesn't Gabby ride Gracie and the reason she does not ride Gracie no freaking tall I is because her. she's so tall and it does not about weight it's about throwing the horse off balance. Imagine you running and jumping and not being able to balance yourself so that's why Gabby doesn't ride Gracie. I want a kiss from Willow. And that's why nobody rides Willow. Kiss, kiss. Do you know that feeling when it's raining out and everything smells a million times worse in the rain like it just does currently we have chino studs in here that might be just as good actually i'm going to keep this leftover pill bottle down here in case we get more because we are going to be getting more but these are chino studs if we ever get to use them like i said today is vet day and that means that we have to clean the barn clean 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 the barn and I also have to go to the bank and get more money out. My bank machine would only let me get out so much yesterday, and that's our expensive. All right, I fixed the camera, I think. Sometimes those settings on our camera get mixed up in the midst of shooting, and that keeps on happening. I fixed it, it's all good now. 7.25 a.m. 7.25 a.m., and I'm already headed out. I have to go to the bank, like I said, and our vet starts his calls at 8 a.m. So you never know exactly when he's gonna arrive. You could be the first call, you could be the last call. If there's an emergency, then you're the last call. But um, yeah, we have to be ready for eight, and we haven't even cleaned the barn yet. So I'm leaving the girls, they're gonna clean the barn, I'm gonna run to the bank. I'm back at the barn, I had a little breakfast, and now, operation, get our barn vet-worthy clean. <laughs>
dress. Why do I do this all the time? Habits. I do other things too. I pull my skirt up. If it's long, I pull it up above my knees. Yep, just for fun, just for habits. Just feels more comfy to me. Anyway, we are all soaked in sweat. It is so scorching. It's overcast and all the like, humidity in the air is just sitting on top of us. <sighs> so we are waiting for the vet. We might even go end up going up to the house. But before we do, before this vlog really gets started and you guys get to hear about our horses, hopefully I can video a lot of the stuff with our horses. I'm gonna try, but I feel weird to like, be like, hi, Mr. Vet. Hi, Dr. Vet. Let me put you on my camera. I'm not gonna put him on my camera. I don't even like to put like, it's just awkward. You guys know, imagine I walked up to you and said, hey, and started videoing you. You probably wouldn't like it. So anyway, before we have a vet day, I wanna teach you guys something. Go get it, go get it. Molly's learned, go learning it. to chase rocks. Go get it. Good job. Go Kaylee said her puppy eats rocks. Good girl. Drop it. Drop it. Good girl. Oh, you missed go it. Get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go find one. Go find a rock. Go find one. So, you guys know how I told you just be yourself, and if nobody likes you, if somebody doesn't like you, too bad for them. Well, I feel like it, I have been doing you guys a little bit of a disservice for not explaining further because unpopular opinion but how people treat you is all about is your responsibility isn't that crazy how people treat you is all about you it's not about them one thing I learned in my 30s was that you cannot change the world you cannot change other people the only person that you can change is yourself so to explain this point better we're gonna do a little role play okay you guys are in for a little role play you guys want to do some acting you're gonna see why my girls are not so good at acting Gabby, Sophie, do you guys want to do some acting? I do role play on Sir Stable. You do role play on Sir Stable? Yeah. Gabby, Gabby, you think you're in for some, do you think you can handle some role play? Yeah. <laughs> you're doing it anyway. All right. Hey, Sophie. Hi. Ew, I hate your shirt. Whatever made you wear that? Suck it up. <laughs> Actually, that was super well done. Let's see what Gabby says. Good different person Gabby. Different person. Gabby. What you're wearing, then they just have to walk right away. Wait, say it again. Because if a person doesn't like what you're wearing, they just have to walk away. Yeah, except for that saying, suck it up and walking away, does that make a friend? No. Does that teach somebody to te treat you nice? No. No. Let's, let's try Gabby. Hey Gabby, I hate the way you're wearing your hair. Is this the permanent way you're wearing your hair or you just like gave up on life? You're a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what you do. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's. Okay, Sophie, you come on up and say something to me. I hate your shoes. You hate my shoes? I know, these are my farm shoes. They're kind of gross and dirty and stinky, but they get the job done. Trust me, if you lived on a farm, these would be these shoes would be your best I had favorite the same shoes. shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see what I did there? I hate how you dress. I could spot a million things that are wrong. Your shoes and outfit do not go. Your shirt's too long, you need to show more skin. And your skirt's too long. Yeah, it's true. I always wear long skirts, and I never show my belly because I have five babies, and my belly just does not look fat. as good as it once did. Yeah, I'm a little fat. So I choose bigger, looser styles that look better on me. Fat, you're fat, then everybody teases you at school because you said that you're fat and you actually admitted it. You look so good in tummy tops though, and crop tops, because you have such a great shape. Don't try to double back, the whole school despises you. Yeah, but I don't despise myself, so I win! Let's try something out. Sophie, look at that gorgeous green sky out there. That's blue. Is it blue? Yeah. Probably. I was always taught that it was green. Are you sure it's blue? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Blue is my favorite color. I actually wish that I saw it as blue. Maybe I'm colorblind. What's your favorite breed of horse? I would choose not to answer that until you say yours. No! Come on, this is role playing. You actually have to just pretend to be a real person. I am. Okay, so Gabby, my favorite kind of horse is, my favorite breed of horse is Palomino. Okay. I love it. Okay. <laughs> that's not a breed. <laughs> Fail. All right, let me pretend I'm Gabby. Hey mom, what's your favorite breed of horse? My favorite breed of horse is Palomino. Oh, I love Palomino, that's such an awesome color. My favorite breed of horse 
is Quarter Horse. For a minute there, I thought that Gabby was deliberating and just holding in her negative, mean response, which is what you have to do to get along with people. You have to adapt and acknowledge people have their own opinions, people have their own, own way of doing and thinking things. And once you realize that, and you realize that if somebody else has a different way, it doesn't make your way wrong, then your self-esteem rockets. Well, technically it's not a breed, it's a color. Technically it's not a breed, it's a color. But who cares? In the grand scheme of the world, do you want to be a good friend, or do you want to be right? Because if you want to be right, then jump over there in Gabby's corner. If you want to be a good person and you want to have lots of friends, then you need to acknowledge that there are times when you bite your tongue or you agree even though you don't agree and even though you think differently. Unless somebody's getting hurt or someone is in danger. Those are the, though there are always exceptions to every rule, but every single day we need to bite our tongues and we need to disagree. And when somebody says something rude, sometimes taking the higher road and either agreeing with them and laughing at yourself with them is the best way to go. And that is another thing that's so super important. Learn to laugh at yourself. One of the reasons that I make fun of my kids all the time is to teach them to laugh at themselves and to teach them to not be so serious about themselves and to recognize that everybody makes mistakes and that it is okay and that you can just laugh a lot of things off. But anyway, that is it. That is our attempt at role playing. Hopefully you guys got what the message there was. It's kind of hard to see because Gabby did not play along very well. Next time we do this, I'm gonna let Gabby be the mean girl. Sophie and I will say all the right stuff. Well, you Sophie have a turn. Drop, good girl. You ready? You ready? She's so good at drop it. You should teach her to back up now. Don't pee, we just cleaned up. She's in a forest tree. The vet is here and the ponies wanna make a mess of everything. Oh, the horse tree. Gabby spilled her coffee. And she's eating horse treats. She's eating horse treats. And coffee. And coffee. The vet comes and everything just falls apart. That came. Molly was barking in the field when she saw him. I fixed it just like I that. Think she's barking at you. No, she was barking because there's a, a strange car. But Sit. what you Molly. do, what we do, is Molly. we draw attention away Molly. from the person Come to get. us, we bring the dog to us, and give Molly, them treats. Down. And pretty soon they learn to forget about yeah. people coming and they associate it with a good yeah. thing. And then they, Crack instead the of running to the person Molly. barking, they run to us happily expecting a treat. That's what we do. So we've always done work like a charm. Even though Chino got his uh, vaccinations all done in December, it's been seven months. He's going to get them all again and get on, put on the same schedule as our horses. He's going to get a vet exam to see why he's still lame. And we are all the horses, all five of them are getting shots, a checkup and dental checkup. Listens to, all the horses listen to Gabby the best. So you know, you're getting a second set of shots this year, dude. <laughs> 18 cups a day. But I don't want to like overdo the grain, you know, and cause problems. Look at how good he is with his shots. Like you are such a good horse. Yeah. Um, but if I, if, if upping the grain is the only thing we can do. So with the hay, I, because the other horse is going grass for half the day, he's in the big field all by himself. And we give him, I've given him so much hay and he just lets it sit there. Anybody, Finn's probably our worst one. Mm -hmm. This guy's probably the next easiest. All right, Stormy boy. He has his days. Yeah, he has his days. Be a good boy. I should get out of this spot. It's the pony that's the worst. Oh, look at his tongue is black. Did we do his teeth last year? Nope, just Finn. Only Finn. Oh, we did? I feel like we did file somebody's, but only one got a power float. Did we Did we file his? I don't remember. I don't they seem so. okay. He is all... Is he acting normal with the bit? Yeah. He, he yeah. is one of those horses that everything takes slow to grow on him. This is Finn. You did a power float on him last year.
Be glad, Finny. Get you something from the dollar store. <laughs> You're gonna buy him something from the dollar store? Yeah. She said if he's good, he's gonna buy him something from the dollar store. You're a good boy. For them when they get their shots. Look, all three of them so far, knock on wood, did so good. Yeah, we saved the best for last. Yeah, ponies. So we got a new pony last year. Okay. I don't know, maybe she was here. I don't think so. Suddenly she's afraid. Suddenly she's like, wait a minute, where did you come from? You think you could hold her like that, Gabby, when he does the shot? I'll hold her. I can hold her nose and needle her at the same time. Wow, that is impressive. Oh, so much better. Good girl. Yay! So we're going to do a quick little checkup on Mr. Chino. Uh, the right one there, or whatever, the one closest to you, uh, popped a little tiny abscess when the farrier was here. Uh, and this one did not pop an ab abscess, but I think he's mo more lame on the other one. Do you see the bruises still? No, it's pretty easy to see after he's like right oh. the whole clip of the dark. Oh, okay. That's something I didn't know. He said he had a lot of bruises. Can you get bruises from your feet being too long? Well, it's all depending on how you're landing and what you're... They're getting strangles. It goes up their nose. So you got to close that door there, top and bottom, Sophie. Because it's going to, whatever they blow out, the ponies are going to breathe in. Because the ponies don't need a whole dose. Yeah, when he comes in. This is it. Five horses all in our little barn. All of them in here. Yes, you are such a good boy. You guys remember when we got him, I used to video his eyes all the time and stare into them because he seems so stressed. And now he's just like, hmm, laid me to the hay. <laughs> Come back here. We're going to have to close that door. Yeah. Can you pass me the chain? All the horses are like, what's happening? Is it Christmas? Uh, we're getting all of them a tree at all. So do you guys remember when we said, when we took Finn to the psychic and the Finn said he wants to know what the dollar store is? Mm -hmm. And we thought it was so funny because Sophie was so, so obsessed with the dollar store. She know if you do this good, you're gonna be the best pony. It's okay. It's like COVID test. Yuck! <laughs> One. One. Okay, here I'll hold him. Do the bad one first. Sure. The bad one. Poor Finny. Yeah, that door is always. Wow, such a good. <laughs> so... Never, it's not funny when they do that. <laughs> All right, Stormy. You gotta be the best one. Uh oh. Do you want the chain for him? No. Boy. <laughs> He's like, I've been around the block. I know this thing. <laughs> okay, so he said the words. He said Will is a little bit fast. So he said no more grass for her because he can't really, he said like, even an hour a day, Minnie's will just go out there and gorge. So he said cut it all off, like just shave it, cut it down, or just don't put them out there. So that sucks for our poor ponies. He also said that he doesn't think that Chino has another abscess. He said he just, he hard, he just seems just slightly sore, just slightly sore um, in his feet, like not too sore. And that probably is bruising, just like the, the farrier said. And uh, to give him some butte, which I wondered if we should have given him some butte. He thinks they'll take down any inflammation and make him better, faster. And he said to up Chino's weight. 
the, he didn't give me any ideas. Like he, like I, we're doing everything we can. He said ideally his weight's not so bad. A little bit more muscle he'd like to see, which we have done a bunch of muscle. All our horses did phenomenal. Like I'm so impressed. I was so impressed with them. Like when when somebody comes to your house and like a doctor comes to your house and takes care of your kids or your or your pets, you want them to be like the best behaved and they were. Storm did a little bit of a freak out at the strangles, but other than that, they were so good. So I feel proud. Oh my god, this is such a shock. You look skinny. Where have you been? Hendrix. Wow, I can't believe it. I thought he was gone forever. Oh, he's got something on his tail. Oh, he's got cuts. Well, you're going home to your owner. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's skinny. Why don't you come home to eat? Here. Let me give you more. We got a new puppy since the last time I saw you. You're going in this cage, dude. I feel terrible. I don't know where he's been. But he's thin. The last time I saw him, he was chubby still. Oh, you need to get dewormed, my love. I've got medicine here for you. I want to see what's in his tail. See? Looks like he got caught somehow. Oh, you. I literally feel like crying. I can't believe Hendrix came back. Miracle, you guys. That is a miracle for today. Such a huge miracle. He's skinny and he's in bad shape. So we're taking him to Fiona's. Don't let the puppy scare him. I'm gonna, I have to check him out some more and give him some medicine. Look at his, and his tail. You should see his tail is a mess. Down, off, off. I don't know. I'm going to give him Are medicine right now. You should see his tail. I don't know. I'm going to... There's bumps all over him. He's, I know. I said that to Fiona. He's bumpy everywhere. We need to like... Look at what's that. Where was he? Did he come back? I went into... That's the, just a birthing Molly. I went into the feed room and all of a sudden he was there. I almost cried. He just was like, meow. I was like, oh, thank God you came back. He's got cuts on both sides of his neck. Oh, his ear. Oh, look at that one. Yeah, his look ear. His ear. Look at his tail. Look at his tail. Nope, way at the top. Looks like he barely missed getting it pulled off. Mm. Look. Yeah. And he's got stuff all in his tail, too. He's so, not the best farm cat. No, because he runs off. Your new kitten is getting oh, his you know what's eye. cut off. Is he getting neutered? Nails? Neutered. Nails, too. Neutered, too. <laughs> I told Gabby to sit down and we're going to sit down together and we're going to doctor him before we take him to Fiona. And she said, yes, eight seasons of Grey's Anatomy finally paid off. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but Hendrix is in there living it up. He's so happy to be in there. It's nice and cool in here. I bet he hasn't slept like this in a, in a month. Like he's been sleeping soundly since we brought him in. It is currently raining, just little spitting rain. You can tell from the window, you can see the rain. It is warm outside. Horses are handling it just fine. I would not change their pasture for that, for one with a shelter, just because they are handling it really well. It's just when it's like torrential rain pour that I change their pasture so that they have a shelter. We are going to drop Hendrix off at his, at Fiona's house. We're giving him back to Fiona. How long has it been since we had Hendrix, probably a year and a half.